Hi all. This is the second video in the demo section. The first one covered the developer profile installation of Old Fusion 11. In this video, we'll talk about the production profile and production plus picture profile of Old Fusion installation. Let me just click on the Old Fusion installer. So I just launched the installer and it's loading. Okay, this is the first screen that gives a brief description about the installer. I've already seen this in the previous installation. This is the EULA and this is the license agreement. I accept it, I hit next. Again, this is uh, exactly the same screen as uh, for CoFusion 10, 11. So if you have a license key, you enter it over here. If you don't have a license key, then you go with can either go with 30 day trial or developer edition. I'll choose the 30 day trial and hit next. If I wish to deploy it on a J2E configuration, then I'll use the second option. If I want to install a standard or an enterprise edition or a 30 day trial, then I'll go for a server configuration. So these are the three new profiles which have been introduced in CoFusion 11. We have already spoke about uh, development profile. So in this video, we'll see what is production profile and what is production secure profile. Production profile and production profile plus pro secure profile. There's a slight difference that and if you scroll here, you'll find it there. The production secure profile is within a highly secure production environment. And that would allow a more fine grained secure environment. Right, so it's, it's more of like a secure enabling secure profiling during the installation itself. Now, this is a new feature which has been introduced in CoFusion 11. So, the installation remains the same for production profile and secure profile, only that you need to allow an IP address over here and it goes to the secure profiling section. So, I'll go for production profile. I hit next. So, these services would be installed under this profile. Hovering your mouse on each of them would show you the details about. Let's go for next. So in production profile, the Cold Fusion allows you to enable and disable for, uh, some of the attributes and parameters, including the services, which guide when you follow the lockdown guide, you may enable and disable these. So the installer itself gives you the Visibility to set these up over here. So I'll go with the default settings and again, you hover your mouse on each of them to get the more details. Now, in case I have a PDFG or a solar service which is on a remote machine and not on this server, then I need to enable this and specify the IP address of the remote server. Since I have the PDFG service installed on this machine, so I would not need this option. So this shows the default directory for cold fusion installation. I'll go with the default directory itself. And as discussed in the previous video as well, that this is the section where most of the users are not sure what to select. Now for development, we can go either with them, but since we're talking about the production profile, then we should be using configure my web server for cold fusion 11. So we just need to make sure that whatever website we're going to configure during the installation, that should not be previously configured or running with any other version of Cold Fusion on this server because then there would be a conflict. So, this lists all the available web servers on this server. I select configure specific IS website and I'll go with default website for my installation. Now, this would be the Cold Fusion administrator password. And this is new. Now we want your Cold Fusion admin to be as secure as possible. So it won't allow me to set a simple password. It should be a complex password and it gives the description how it should be complex. So let me change it. Let me set a more complex password this time. Let me see if it accepts. Yes, it goes there. 
Yes, I would like Cold Fusion to automatically check for updates. This is a summary of all the options we have selected during the installation, and I hit install. So we are now towards the uh, end of installation. This is the uh, section wherein CoFusion is, is going to create all the services and it's going to start the services. And lastly, it would create the connector. So see, it's, it's starting the Windows service, CoFusion 11 application server. It will start the ODBC services and the .NET services and the rest of them. Great, so we are done with the installation. Uh, now it will take me to the CoFusion admin. In the meantime, let's have a look at IIS to see if the virtual directories, yep, the virtual directories are added there. Let's confirm with the handler mapping as well. EFC, CSM, all of them are there. Great. Oh, it was a complex password and I remembered. Good. So since, uh, again, I have CoFusion 9 and 10 on this server, so it prompted me for migrating the settings. I don't need the settings to be migrated, so I'll skip this part. Yes, I'm sure about it. And once I click on OK, it takes me to the CoFusion administrator. So this admin popping up confirms that CoFusion is installed successfully in production profile with IIS. And I think that's, that's all for this video. Thank you for watching this video demo again. Uh, if you have any queries or questions, please post or on the comment section. I'll try to answer them. And keep watching this space for new videos. Thanks again.